Right, this is the conditions of the ablution facilities at the campsite at uh, Drazini Dam. Uh, these taps don't work. We then move around into the ablution block. You can quite clearly see that uh, the electrical systems are not too good. Obviously maintenance is not an issue for Ezambello. As we can see, broken tiles, broken thatch hole in the roof, no electrical fittings at all. And then uh, this is the flagship of this particular campsite, which is looking delightful as you can see. Obviously no maintenance here, no cleaning being done, the plumbing is dysfunctional. I'm not sure why people would even pay money to use these ablutions. And uh, this is the delightful shower. Now, once the proud custodians of conservation and protection of KwaZulu Natal, um, the Jazini Dam area is, is, is in terms of uh, economic development, one of the uh, prime tourism hotspots. There's so much potential in this district. And this is what um, potential visitors are being offered. We can see a spectacular view there. And then as soon as you move into the ablutions, it just becomes a horror story. Obviously no cleaning being done here. Switches again are off. At least the thatch in this area is of, of acceptable nature. These toilets look a little bit cleaner. But still, very, very far from being even one star standard. And one wonders what exactly is going on in this protected area. Um, the campsite is unkempt, broken trees, brass stands are broken, um, old rusty pins. Um, there's been no attempt to maintain these facilities at all. Um, a continuation, you can see abandoned poles lying everywhere. And it's just a very sad, sad indication of, of what is going on in Isambella. And I think this is just a small example of the uh, neglect that has set in in the institution and of course now um, you know is reflected in the facilities um, sad state of affairs um, in an area that could potentially be such a massive uh, job creator uh, economic development potential in this area um, this piece of land that we're in um, i believe has been um, claimed in terms of the uh, uh, restoration um, and the Land Claims Act. Um, and to be quite honest, um, it might be high time that the family who claimed it just be given this land and uh, that they then are then given an opportunity to partner with um, private uh, enterprises to actually develop this into something more than what it is right now. Because one cannot even conceivably call this um, a one-star resort. This is a, an atrocious state and um, I'm sure that the claimants in consultation with the private sector will be able to develop um, this Ezambello KZN uh, park into something that really matters um, and can drive opportunity um, because this is just unacceptable.